Exercise 8. In this exercise, we take a look at Inventor's functionality when it comes to making lofts. Lofts are freeform shapes that are generated by multiple, or more than two, two or more, I should say, sections. And so in this case, we're going to make a boat hull and through multiple sections and end up creating our boat this way. We're going to begin, though, by first offsetting some planes. So we're going to start off excuse me, with a new part file, just a standard I part. And from here, we're going to go ahead and select our XY plane as the main plane. And we're going to go up here to Plane to select Offset from Plane. And if we rotate a little bit, shift in the middle of key, we can see we can drag off additional planes. And the first one is going to be dragged off approximately 6 inches. I'm going to turn on my visibility by right mouse button clicking on the XY plane and then selecting visibility. And then from here, we could go ahead and select that plane we just offset, which is listed as work plane in the feature tree, and offset that again by going to plane, offset. And if you drag it forward, or else just type in the explicit value, in this case, 8. And finally, select that last plane and go back to the Plane tool and select Offset. And this will just be set to 1 inch. And This is the tip of the boat. So you should see now four planes if you unhid this one. So the XY, first of all, remember, right click and you unhide it by selecting Visibility. And the others should be turned on automatically and you should be able to see all of them and how they're related to each other. We're going to begin on the back side of the boat, and that's we're going to start with the actual XY plane here and start a sketch on it by clicking on it and select Create Sketch. We're going to also take the Line tool and we're going to draw a profile. So if you want to move about two inches away from the center on the X there, so negative two and Y should be zero, click and drag in a line to the origin. Click again and drag down a line. Make sure it's at 90 degrees or perpendicular, about two inches again. Then hit Escape. And now we'll go ahead and add some dimensions to this. Now the dimensions, which are listed in your book here, are going to be uh, two and a half across. And so make sure we select this line here, drag that down. Now it's going to be 2.5. And then this line here is going to be just two. OK, now that we have those, actually we might want to move them out of the way. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times to get out of dimension, and then click on the dimension and drag it up and out of the way here. And this is just so we could draw our spline through those. OK, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and select the Spline tool, which you'll find over here. If you hit the little arrow underneath, you'll see there's Bridge Curve, Spline, through Control Vertex, and just Interpolation. We want to select Interpolation Spline. And the way this works is we're just going to go and click onto, on the vertex of the horizontal line on the left. Click, release it. Uh, when you get about what looks like nearly halfway, but not quite, around at a slight angle, maybe about 45 degrees-ish, click, and then move off another spline. Click again, and then close it by connecting to the vertex at the bottom of the 2-inch line. 
and then hit the green check mark. At this point, we could go ahead and add some dimensions. We go to the dimension tool and dimension each spline point. So for example, I could select this very first spline point that we created off of this to this line here and drag it straight up and that's going to be 1.5. Then go ahead and select the second spline point to this line, drag it straight up, and that's going to be 0.5. All right, now I'm going to select this horizontal line to the first spline point, and drag it to the right, and this one's going to be the smaller dimension, so it's going to be 1.25. and then select the horizontal line again to the spline point and to the right and this is going to be 1.5 and then hit escape. Now you could arrange your dimensions, it's not a bad idea to arrange them so they look decent. And then hit the finish sketch tool. Okay, the next thing I want to do is show how to copy and paste. To copy and paste, it's actually very easy. What you do is you find the sketch in the feature tree. In this case, sketch one. Click on it one time just to select it, and hold down control and hit C. Control C for copy. Then select the plane you want to drop it on. In this case, I've rotated kind of in an isometric. Actually, if we go home here, it's this plane, the second plane that we're interested in click on that plane just one time and hold down control and hit V as in Victor and it will paste this into position. Now it's just a matter of updating the dimensions to match what we see in the book. So in the book we've just we're just going to increase them a bit to make it larger because as it gets towards the center of the boat it gets bigger. And so to begin this two we'll start with the larger dimensions two and a half inch dimension, we just double click and that gets changed to three. The 1.5 horizontal dimension, double click, that gets changed to two. And the half inch horizontal dimension, double click on that, that gets changed to 0.75. Now starting on the right side here, the, this dimension, the two inch, gets changed to 2.375. The 1.5 vertical dimension gets changed to 1.75. And the smallest of the dimensions there is 1.375. And now we're done with that. Now we could go ahead and select the next plane. Click on that and hold control and hit V again. There shouldn't be a need to recopy it because it's already in the memory. If for some reason you hit Control V and it doesn't show up, just try selecting the sketch one again from the feature tree. Control C for copy, and then click on the plane you want to drop it on. Control V is in Victor. So here, now we're going to go ahead and make it smaller. This time, considerably smaller, as we can see in our drawing here. We will start with the smallest dimensions first. This horizontal half inch dimension, just double click on that, and that's going to change to 0.2. The next dimension here, 1.5 horizontal, will change to 0.5. And the 2.5 inch dimension, double click on that, that will change to 0.675. Again, start with the smaller ones on the vertical side. Double click on the 1.25 and change it to 0 0.2. Double click on the 1.5 vertical dimension, change it to 0.375. And the 2 inch dimension will be 0.6. So as we're getting closer to the front of the boat, it's getting sharper, smaller. Finally, this next one, we don't have to copy and paste anything into it. We just click on it, 
and create sketch. And we need to just drop a point on it. So find the point tool and click right on that yellow dot there in the center to drop a point. And that will be the tip of the boat. And it, hit finish sketch, zoom out. Actually, you could go to the home. And now we could actually create our, lo our loft. So we could go to the loft tool. And we'll start by selecting sections. First click on the section over on the upper left of it. And then this section here. And you'll see it will start transitioning between the sections. So this section. And finally the point. And we should see our half of our boat being constructed. Just hit OK. And if you rotate, you should now be able to see it. I'm going to turn on the edges so you can see a little bit better. And we could actually hide those planes if you right click on Work Plane 3 and turn off visibility, as well as the XY, turn off visibility. Um, those other planes as well, just right click, visibility, visibility. Make sure you're at home. And now we're just going to mirror this across. So if you find the mirror tool up here, the feature to mirror is the body. And the mirror plane will be the side face. In this case, actually, I had to select the mirror plane first. For some odd reason, it wasn't allowing me to select the body. So once I select the mirror plane, and then click on the side face, because it's a nice flat face to mirror across, and then you can click on Features, and hit OK. And now we have our boat hull. At this point, this completes this exercise, but we, uh, if you want to dress up the boat hull, there are some ideas that you can do here. Basically, this is a nice flat sketch on the top surface. You can click on Start a Sketch on it, I should say, Flat Surface. And from here, you could build a cabin or different sections. What I want to do is I'm going to select Offset and select the edge and drag this in a little bit and click on that. Now I'm going to take the Circle tool, or actually an Arc tool here. I'll use Three Point Arc to cut off some of this geometry. Now I could use the trim tool to remove some of these entities here. And from there I'll just go to 3D model and extrude. Extrude that surface and put a taper on it. I'm going to put a minus 16 degree taper can see it's given in a streamline appearance or somewhat streamlined. If you want you can always change that extrusion by editing the feature, right clicking edit feature, and we can put more draft. So maybe I want uh, we'll actually put 24 degrees of draft. And we can see the preview if you click on the eyeglasses there and hit OK. Right now, some maybe I want to put something on top. I'm going to select the face and create a sketch, and I'm going to draw a little circle, and then extrude that up. You can eyeball it if you like. Put a little bit of draft on it. Maybe minus one. If you want to make cutouts, you could select this surface and actually create a little section in the back or a motor or whatever you want. Uh, I'll just take a rectangle and then just I can cut that in. I'll flip the direction. And then just put it in about an inch deep. 
So with those, those are just some ideas you can use to put this boat together. Remember, you could also change the plane distances and have it update. Um, if you want to make it a little, again a little more streamlined, you can take these planes that are here, start a sketch on those, uh, and let's say I want to uh, adjust the bottom of the boat a little bit more. I can draw on some geometry with lines. Use that to cut. Put some blends in with the fillet tool. Could add some additional ones. So before you know it, you could put together a nice little boat. You can make a speedboat or sailboat or whatever you want. And that's it.